And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Today we're taking a look at Galaxy Trucker, another big expansion. I don't know if they make another one, what they'll call that. But the first one was called The Big Expansion. This is the second. Now, I've already talked about Galaxy Trucker, a fantastic game in my review of that. And so you can see that review if you don't know how to play the game. But if you do, I'm going to show you the different modules in this game and which ones you can mix and match, just like the first one, in another big expansion. Okay, the first thing that we're going to talk about in this expansion is some new ships that it adds. It adds in this really kind of random ship, uh, you'll notice that it's a, it's a pretty big ship that you can have. The, the difference is, on this one you're going to roll two dice, and then you can't build on the two numbers that are rolled. So no threes and no fives. So here, no fives or ones. So each time you roll, it's going to be a different mix-up, and it's possible to roll doubles, but so you just have to remember which spots on the board you can't build sections on. Eh, it's okay. It's, you know, random ship. This ship's a little cooler, although kind of weird to work with. Essentially, this ship wraps around in a circle. So this side here is connected to this side. And when you get hit, you could get hit, you know, basically anywhere in the ship. It's, it's a really dangerous ship to fly around and get and have shot at you. It's, it's interesting, but... This is what's but this is the cool part. I can flip it over and it becomes a ship. Well, that's a kind of a weird looking ship. That's because, ladies and gentlemen, if I flip the random ship over, I now have mega ship. This is ship four, and this is so cool. I love this. And what's not and what's even cooler than this is that all the different ships. The, the backs and fronts are different, so you're going to have a different ship each time because not only are the tops different, but the bottoms are different. So everyone is going to have a different ship number four. And oh man, I just, I love how these ships look. They're big, they're huge, and as a fan of someone who likes to build the ships in this game, that's my favorite part. That's something that's, that's just really neat to do. Now, this means that there's going to be another deck of cards in the game. But what it actually is for, and kind of the focal point of this expansion, are intruders. All right, so let's take a look here at this. There are different kinds of intruders that will land on your ship. There are predators and there are commandos. When these guys come on your ship, they will hit at a random spot like a meteor or a shot. They will land on the ship and then they will start moving and either they will basically always go left or always go right um, when they get to rooms. And in each room they get, they'll do something different. The predators eat all humans and aliens. They eat all blocks of goods that they find and they eat all batteries, real pain in the neck. Commandos will move four spaces and then they'll explode whatever they landed. And then this one moves four spaces and explodes whatever they landed next. You know, each commando is different. This one goes five, five, and five. Although it's possible that they will only move a few spots and do something. For example, these commandos only move six and then blow something up. Now, these are included in this game. You actually have some cards that reference them. There's a new blue alien that arms your arms your guards so that they can fight back against these invaders. There's some new evil machinations, some new of these wicked cards, which you can never play any with. And then there's some new cards for each each set, for example, there's two new cards for the one adventure, plus hazardous sector. When you draw this, you draw two cards from the top of two. And then two is going to be the same way with some intruders. And then draw two cards from the top of set three, and three has the same thing. And then you have a whole new deck of four cards that add new big bad things. And there's lots of intruders in here. And there's a few other changes and planets that come with... Uh, goods and people on them. So, you know, mega asteroids, look at that. It's just, that's, that's terrible, terrible. Um, open space where asteroids hit you and you move. And so there's all kinds of new cool things in this set. So you can play a big, bad four, level four as you fly through here. The game also comes with some new components. First of all, you have these. These are armaments. And when these armaments are connected to a crew section, those crew are considered to be armed. So 
When a crew is armed, if an intruder goes into that spot, they will kill the intruder. It stops predators and it will cause explosions where the other guys are coming in, but at the same time, you stop them from doing any further damage. So these are very useful. Then we have these guns here. These are used, they also will stop intruders uh, by itself. So they're kind of better than the armed, although with the armaments, you can actually arm multiple crewmen. These, if the intruders walk into them, they're dead. And if you have a pair of them together, they also count as plus one to your gun strength. So that's a handy thing to have. I, I don't use these that often, although intruders get to be such a pain that you, know, you might want to stick them in. Then, this is my favorite new component, I think. When this is attached to any item that needs battery power, it will power it once each turn for free. We got solar power here. So this solar power, so the first time something hits and I need to use my shield, I can block with my shield for free. It's very handy. Then we have this here, which is another connection, but basically this connection here, uh, which is called the router module, anything that's attached to, the route, attached to the router is attached to anything else. So this solar power I could use for the battery, but I might also hook it up to something else that would need, that would need power. And um, so let's say I managed to hook it up to a double gun or a double engine or what have you, I would be able to do two things with that solar panel. I might even be able to use a shield in another methodology, depending if I could connect it a different way. So that's not just how those work. Lots of things can hook up to those. For example, we now have new double alien life support systems. Now, if you connect it to a single one here, that means I can put a purple alien or a blue alien in there. Well, that's okay, although it doesn't really matter that much, but if I hook it to here, then I can put a purple alien in one room, and if I attach it to another room over here, I can put a purple one in one and a blue in the other. So that's a neat addition to the game, and there's, there's a brown slash blue alien. This game also comes with some there's an impenetrable armor surrounding a cargo thing, so I can put cargo there, and that's perfectly safe. Uh, I have some robots. These are four robots. They need a battery to operate, and if I need extra crew for some reason for a card, I can use a battery and operate them, and now I'm plus four crew. And then thrusters. I love thrusters. Thrusters need a battery to use, but basically when your ship gets hit by an asteroid, you can activate these and they will thrust your ship one in the direction that the thrusters are, are facing, basically one row or column. So instead of an asteroid hitting you from the six side, maybe it will hit you from the seven side where you can protect against it. The last expansion focused on the negative. This expansion has a little, well, this one, hell, with those guys coming on board, that's certainly negative, but this has some positive, too, and that comes in regards to the support team. These support team cards are cards that players will draw after their first turn, and they basically give you something positive. You use the A side uh, on your first adventure, then you can use the B side here. Before the flight, guess how each player will finish? For each correct order guess, gain two credits. So, I mean, that's, that's okay, but... A delivery man, after building, you can use one of your part tokens to convert one of your ship components to the type shown on the token. So I can take an engine and change something else to an engine. That's a pretty neat thing here. And there's all sorts of these really cool ones here. Stock blades, your components with cargo containers. I can put a red block in a white container. Here I can steal components that my opponents have set aside. One cannon and one engine don't have to follow the empty square rule. And then later on, you will eventually get to the B ones, and you can use other parts. For example, this one here, I can stick this on top of any part. Now, can you imagine how useful that would be if, for example, I stuck it on top of the solar power to be able to connect that to everything next to it? That's some neat stuff here. Here, um, a cabin with one alien can also hold a human. Here, I can put, um, I can put connections and connect you know, universal connections between things. Here in the B section, I can put impenetrable armor on stuff. That's fantastic. Really cool, neat things that you can have here. So players are going to get these and they'll be able to add parts and do weird, cool things with their ship. So, what do I like from this? Well, obviously I kind of was salivating over those giant ships. I love that. I love the intruders. Although I found that some people who can put up with the chaos of the game with meteorites and asteroids hitting them and the ships attacking them, for some reason these intruders drive them nuts. 
I just think it's cool. Bring them. Bring them. Eat half the people on my ship. I'll bring more out. I, I like them. And I like the new components. Um, uh, the I really like that builder, the the it, people that you can hire to change, to kind of give you a bonus to your ship because that's a nice change. Because usually, here's how Galaxy Trucker is. Galaxy Trucker says, come here and then slaps you in the face. And you're like, oh, wow. Why did my ship got blown up? But you know what? That's okay. An, a big expansion, the first one, then comes and punches you in the face. It's like, oh, you thought the game was easy? Well, we're going to make it super hard. This one, the intruders, is the same way. They punch you again. But they give you something good to make up for that. So I almost always use those now, uh, those, those, those cards, because they, the advantages, and they're cool. You have stuff that no one else has. I got in a whole side that's impenetrable. Bring it on. Of course, then the asteroids come from the other side. But, but I like the game. I like the additions. I like having those big, giant ships. It's a lot of fun. And there's just so many cool things, so many different ways to attach the ships at this point. So, yeah, it does add to the complexity. There's no way you can teach those intruders and most of the additions in this game uh, to people who've never played the game before, which, as I said in my last review of the expansion, makes it a bit of a pain to keep everything separate, but I don't care. I'm just going to throw it all in together and just teach what I can teach and hope people don't blow up too badly. But if you're playing Galaxy Trucker, you were kind of expecting that to happen anyway. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find the latest board game news at Dicetowernews.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Fun Again Games, the world's best game source. Fun Again Games has over 5,000 games available. Check them out at funagain.com. Hey, shut the door! <laughs> <laughs>